And today on Bolo Breakdown, we are going to go over, on, through, and everything about a common board game that you find in thrift stores and sell quickly for a lot of money. So stay tuned to check it out. <clears throat> What's up, everybody? Mike, Newfound Past, and we're going to talk about, do a deep dive on Cranium Caribou. I have two of these that I found in the thrift stores recently, uh, $2.99 each. I think I even got these 50% off, so a buck 50. I know I got a discount, some kind of discount. In the thrift stores, I did not look in these at all. I don't know if they're complete. I don't know if everything's there or not. So that's part of what we're going to do today. We're going to go through this game, show you all the parts and pieces, what's important. It's all important, but uh, can we sell something? <laughs> That'd be nice. Uh, go through everything and just see what's in these see and you can sell it's best probably to sell these complete but after we go through them and all figure out what's there we're also going to do some comps at the end so uh, stay tuned for that so let's jump into both of these these are in different boxes as you can see different eras and I even have a third one here that I kept for parts that's even different from those so let's check this one out this is Cranium Caribou this is from 2004 by face man what's this one this one is 2004 as well so I don't know maybe been different parts of the country could have been anything maybe uh, when we go and look online and talk about the histories a little bit histories of these a little bit uh, it'll show the different generations and stuff but uh, what are in these let's uh, open them up this is a Let's see if I can get this one open. This is a good sign on both of them already in that the cards are packaged up. We will go through these and count them though. And But the most important on both of these is fantastic. They're here. I didn't look at these in the thrift store. Both of these have their keys. Awesome. That's pretty much the most important part in this board game is the little purple keys. And this, both of them have them. So that's a fantastic start. So set those to the side. This one over here has its directions. They definitely have been used, but it has both the advanced and the beginner instruction sheets. That's good. And this one over here has them both as well. Advanced and beginner. Fantastic. Nice. All right. So next up is these game come with little balls in them. So are the uh, the balls included? This little blue piece slides back, and if I remember correctly, there's five or six balls in each of these games. This one has six, so that is probably complete. Yeah, six balls. Saw it on the instructions there. So this one has all of its little bouncy balls. We're just gonna put those right back in there because if I don't, they'll just be rolling all over the place. Okay. And this one, does this one have its balls? Okay, they're not in here, but they could be in the body of the thing itself. So we're gonna take our little key and open up these little doors. That's what this key is for. Oh, I see some balls. We're just gonna open them all up and see what we got. Okay, we have one. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh boy, fantastic. So this one has all six balls as well. Fantastic start. Okay, so we're going to close the little door there and put these in there so they don't get lost. So the next up, we look for these little insert cards. These are little insert cards that you would have to put in there if this was brand new. All the insert cards are there on this one. They're not bent up, which happens a lot. And all the insert cards are on this one as well. They're all there. That is fantastic. So next up is the cards. There's beginner cards and there's advanced cards. Luckily, these are already all packaged up and everything. We're still going to count them though. Let's just open these up. It looks like they're 
all there, but you never can tell. You gotta make sure. And this one looks fantastic condition, like it's never even been played. The cards are perfect. So I have a feeling they're all there, so we're gonna count them up real quick and we're gonna fast forward to going through this. <laughs> together. Awesome. <laughs> Both sets have all the cards there. I'm kind of surprised. So these sets are complete. Both of these Cranium Caribous that we got for less than three dollars each, probably about two bucks a piece, are 100% complete. They have all their cards, beginner and advanced, all their little rubber bouncy balls, all their insert cards, their keys, and their directions. So that's pretty rare <laughs> to find two of those, one spot for that cheap, and they're complete, 100% complete. This box does have a little bit of damage on it, not a huge deal. These are so in demand that uh, it doesn't really matter. So that's what we're going to show you next. We're going to show you some uh, comps on these. So. So why is Cranium Caribou so expensive? Well, Cranium as a company, as you can see here on the screen, was founded in 1998 by two former Microsoft executives, Richard Tate and Whit Alexander. Uh, Cranium put out tons of games and uh, were successful for a while. They were only in business about 10 years before they went belly up and they merged with Hasbro, essentially. But Cranium Caribou was pretty much one of the most popular games they ever released and they only made it for a few years from about 02 to 04 before it was uh, put out of print and they did replace it with another caribou game called caribou island but it wasn't nearly as successful as the original cranium caribou a lot of speech therapists love this game because it's uh, very interactive for toddlers and that type of age to get them speaking and communicating and uh, that's why it's so valuable so if this game was ever like uh, re-release or reprinted by Hasbro the the value would more than likely tank because uh, there's really no collectability or sentimental value at this point for this game doesn't mean there won't be in the future but not at this time uh, so still right now a fantastic game to buy and flip you can find them cheap just like I showed you earlier in the video at a thrift store and get a good 50 to 60 dollars out of it but if you see in the news that this game is being re-released you better unload and unload fast because the price will tank super fast if they ever ever re-release this uh this game so yeah the comparables on the cranium caribou so the game i mean it sells so well complete that that's what i recommend people do but if you don't find this that often and you just want to make what money you can out of it you can sell this game for parts and i pulled up a few examples of actual solds on ebay and the first one is just the key and the six little rubber balls. Somebody sold that for $20.50 on auction. So they probably uh, undercut themselves by 5 or $10 on that with free shipping. See, that was in Connecticut there. So, yeah, that was all there is to that one. The first class shipping, easy to ship that. But um, auctions, they probably did undercut themselves a little bit there. And here is just the... Uh, cards it has the 42 beginner cards the 41 advanced cards 20 bucks just for the cards now 
you maybe be able to make more money even if it's complete by parting this out. But, but I think by parting it out, it actually uh, makes the item more long tail. Like someone specifically looking for those cards. I think a complete game just sells faster. And that's why I prefer to sell the complete game. And we'll get to the complete game comps here in just a moment. And here's the little door. Someone has actually taken the doors out of the game and they sold for 15 bucks. Just the little doors. And there's a key. Just the key. $12.76. And that's about typical. About $12 to $15 for for the, just the key. So you see all the parts. It doesn't matter if it's the cards, the doors, the key, the balls, even the treasure chest. I don't think I pulled one up. Even a little treasure chest on it. You can remove that and that sells for about 10 bucks. So um, yeah. And on to some full sets of the game. This one is a complete as pictured and they just did this one on auction. 22 bids, $52 plus shipping. And that is about typical of what this game brings. 50 to $60 in used, con used but complete condition. And that's what they typically bring. And here's another that's incomplete. Uh, Pre-owned, missing a few pieces. And they made they had a list. Still sold for $25 plus shipping. And this one is 100% complete as well. Uh, only $40 plus shipping. I think they, you know, were about 10 to $15 light on this one. But it just goes to show you different people of different prices they want. This one is more what you'd expect, $49 plus shipping as it is complete. And this one on the high end, but they did free shipping on this one as well. So $70, $69.99 with free shipping. Has everything there, you know, used, a little wear on the outer box. But yeah, it was free shipping on that one. And here's another one that used, uh, similar to the ones I just counted out over there, $47.20 plus shipping. Probably a few dollars light. They may be, a, be able to have gotten five or ten more dollars. And a new one. This one was brand new. $90 plus shipping. And that's probably even light on those as well. There's very few new ones out there. So if it was me, I would probably shoot for $100, $125. But, you know, I'm a, I'm a little gambler. I'm a little risk taker. I don't need my money that quick. So I can understand why someone would just put the $90. But there were several solds at that price point. So I think there's room there to... To maneuver up a little bit on the price on that. So that's our first bolo breakdown. I wanted to do something that was fairly common, uh, not super easy to find because people, when they find them, they do buy them and keep them. But uh, these are available out there if you keep an eye out for them. So we went through our games, all the parts, the pieces, talked a little bit about the history and the comparables of this game. And this is just a good bread and butter bolo. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, like, subscribe. We do appreciate it. It helps the channel out a lot. And if you're so inclined, check out uh, Patreon. We are offering mystery boxers for our patron. I just sold one today. Uh, they seem to be very popular. We have $50, $125, and $250 mystery boxes full of good stuff you can resell. Uh, yeah, so yeah, check that out. And we do appreciate it. And we'll see you guys next time with probably a sold video. So thanks, guys. We'll see ya.